Hello. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Rojana Flores, and today I'm interviewing these two fine men today. Your name, uh, Hello, I'm Jeffrey Reed. And I'm Julian Gomez. Today we're going to be interviewing them about beauty. So the first question is, do you believe that beauty is in the eye of the beholder? If yes, then why? If not, then why? Uh, all right. So uh, I, I very much do believe that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, uh, whether it be with like art or uh, people like significant others or just friends even. Uh, it could be like, you know, you enjoy someone's sense of humor more and someone else doesn't quite get it. You know, it's something, a beauty that you see in that person. Or if, you know, I don't understand some piece of art, but some art degree major might understand why the shapes mean this way or you know it, i feel like beauty is very much in the eye of the beholder and you know everyone has their own standards for beauty and what they appreciate uh i agree with that a lot i mean i i think it's an indisputable fact that beauty is in the eye of the beholder because if it wasn't then everyone would like the same things and they don't so i mean i think like, a lot of factors contribute contribute to it. Like, I guess, like, how much you know about something or someone and really just, like, what your preferences are. Okay. Good insight, guys. So the second question is, is beauty something that changes throughout your life? Or have you always thought the same thing looks beautiful? Uh, I very much do believe that uh, beauty is something that changes throughout your life. Because I know for certain that I definitely think some things are more beautiful. I understand beauty more uh, where I am now than I would have even a year ago. Because, you know, people's tastes change and people grow and they mature. And when that happens, you may grow out of a certain phase. You know, you may grow out of like uh, maybe when you were younger, you, you thought like stupid jokes were funny. And now, you know, you're older and you don't find those things as funny. It's the same thing with beauty. You may find something beautiful when you're young and not as beautiful when you're older. Uh, I agree with that too. I mean, I think as you grow up, you experience different things and your taste may change accordingly. You know? Right. Maturity is a huge, a huge contributor to that. All right. So the third question is, what do you think beauty is? And necessarily what is the balance between ugly and beautiful and why does those two things exist i think beauty is uh i would say beauty is more of a feeling that you feel so like when you appreciate something sort of that's what beauty is it's something that you can appreciate and is just inherently good and you like to view it or you like to see it and yeah so i feel like <clears throat> the the balance between ugly and beautiful is just like a, a way for us to know what is beautiful because something can't be beautiful if something else wasn't ugly, you know? It can't just be beautiful and nothing is ugly. There has to be some sort of opposite. All right. Yeah, I agree with that. It, it's like a feeling. Like it, it's, I think beauty is a preference, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like something that's beautiful is something that you prefer and something that you find ugly is something that you don't. Good, good answers, guys. So for number four, uh, how do you think beauty has affected the human race? Uh, I feel like beauty has affected the human race in a variety of ways. It could be good ways. It could be bad ways because, you know, there's you. I feel like when people find something beautiful, they love it. It's it's mostly goes hand in hand. And, you know, love is a wonderful thing, but it can also be a dangerous thing. You know, a lot of people can do a lot of crazy stuff for love. There's been wars fought over love. You know, so I feel like same thing goes with beauty. There's been wars fought over beauty, whether it's like you find a certain ideal beautiful, like your ideal world, and you want your world to be that, like that. And you find that world beautiful, but everyone else around you may not agree with that. You know, I feel like it's it's a thing that, both enhances the world and when uh, put too much, I guess, it, it could also very much endanger the world. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with Jeff. I mean, I think beauty has affected the world in both positive and negative ways. I think it's made humans very vain that they care a lot about what's beautiful and what's not, but it's also made them, made us very appreciative of what, it, what we find beautiful. 
right? Thank you guys for uh, doing this interview and uh, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.